Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson in this Tosca automation course. So in the last video, I showed you how you can use random values in your test steps in order to make your test dynamic, right? But in the process, we also came across an issue where it was not able to perform a particular operation on one of the controls and hence the test failed, right? So the reason for this failure was more than one control was found for that same particular element, right? And hence, it was not able to perform that particular operation. So the element in contention was a radio button, right? So there are two radio buttons in the application and both had the same technical properties, right? And hence Tosca was not able to decide which radio button it should click on. So to resolve these kind of issues, right, you have to add more technical properties into your elements, right? So whenever you are trying to scan your modules and uh, if you come across some elements which is not unique, right, or which is not where Tosca is not able to uniquely identify that element, you need to add additional properties, okay? Or you need to change the identifying mechanism. Okay, so in this case, we are going to add another property, which is a technical property, which will make this control unique. And how we can do that? We can do that by rescanning our module, okay? So Tosca provides you a way to rescan all your modules so that if there are any changes in any particular control or uh, some control is not able to identify, right? Then you can rescan the module, you can change the controls or you can add additional properties to your controls so that your tests are running successfully, right? So let's go to our module and this is our module, right? So select it and right click and there you will find an option called rescan, okay? So click on that and it should open up a window where it will show you all the properties for your elements, right? But before that, uh, I should have opened the application. Otherwise, you will see there is no window found, right? So let me just open up that particular application. Okay, so this was the page which we were trying to work upon. And this was the control, the radio button, which was not working, okay? So uh, let me scan this again. Okay, so once I refresh it, now you will see, um, it will show up all the elements which were selected and also the elements, other elements which are present in this application, okay? And uh, the control which we are talking about is this particular radio button. Now, if I select this radio button, you will see a orange bar being displayed here, which means the selected item is not unique. The message is given right at the bottom where you can easily see which controls are unique and which controls are not unique, right? Once you select this control, you will see here that uh, the properties are being displayed here, right? So uh, we should be taking care of the technical properties because that's the properties which is used by Tosca in order to identify your element, right? So you can see there are two properties currently selected. One is name and one is tag. But using these two technical properties, it is not able to identify your element, right? So you can choose some more properties here, right? So there is checked, there is disabled, there is read only, but you need to be wise enough to choose the right kind of property, okay? So just uh, don't go ahead and select any property, but uh, choose the property which makes sense, right? Uh, so which the Tosca tool can identify that particular element, right? Something like ID, name, or anything, right? So in our case, the name and tag is already selected. So I'll go ahead and select this value, okay? And once I select this value, you will see now the message has changed, the orange color sign has gone, which means my selected item is unique now, right? So using these three properties, it is uniquely able to identify this element, right? So once it's, this is done, right, uh, now I can click on save so that it can uh, save the changes and close this window, okay? 
Now let's go back to our module and you will see it has added another control here, right? So it has not edited the previous control which was added, but it has added new control. And you can also check the properties here. There is an additional property called value, right? So what I can do here is I can change the name of this property so that I can identify which control I'm working with, right? I will also go ahead and delete this particular control here, right? So it will give me some warning because it is already being used in one of my test step, but I will go ahead and delete this, right? So that I am using the right control in my module and the same thing happens in my test case, okay? Now, if I come to test case, um, I need to perform some action on this particular test step, right? Uh, this is the new control which I have added. So let me go and click this, right? Um, there is some uh, error here. Uh, this is probably because we have deleted that particular control. So let's go ahead and delete this step, right? So these are all the steps which we require in our test. Okay, so uh, once you do that, right? Uh, we can now try and run this particular test again and see whether we are able to identify the control uniquely or not okay so go to scratch book and run it there let me close this window so that it opens up a fresh window and now you will see the mouse pointer went to the right control right so there was no error right now because tosca is able to identify the control by using an additional technical property and the test passed right so the application, the account was created successfully and all the test steps also passed, right? So this is a very uh, important thing whenever you are trying to automate any application using Tosca because you will come across uh, many applications where you will face this uh, challenge where there are uh, many controls which have the same technical properties. So the first time you scan your application, uh, you might not get all unique elements okay so tosca can um, identify some elements uniquely but it may not uh, identify all the elements uniquely okay so you need to add some additional technical properties which are provided by tosca so that uh, those controls can be identified uniquely when you are running your test okay so this is how you can rescan your module how you can um, add some more technical properties to your controls and then run your test successfully.